In a vote today, members of the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees Local 22 gave its executive board the authority to call a strike and for members and supporters of the union to then set up picket lines outside the Kennedy Center. A strike can be avoided and Hades Town can take th. We've been more than willing to tighten our belts and help the Kennedy Center during this difficult time for the arts. However, the Kennedy Center's management team has decided to use the pandemic as an excuse to gut our contract while taking millions in federal relief dollars just as large audiences are scheduled to return. The vote follows 16 months of negotiations and arrives just before the October 13th to 31st Hades Town engagement that will mark the center's post-shutdown return Broadway stagings. Through this pandemic, Every other major venue in and around Washington has managed to successfully maintain their agreements with our union and work with us to prepare for the return of audiences, McIntyre said. Putting on a Broadway show, any show, is a team effort, the Kennedy Center's managers will have a hell of a time putting on Hades Town without us. In its statement today, the union said that Kennedy Center management has chosen to take millions in federal aid and then treat staff harshly, noting that the Arts Center also drew criticism last year after receiving $25 million in federal stimulus aid and then announcing that it would furlough. In addition to the proposed pays cuts and layoffs, other sticking points are health and safety protocols and what the union says is management's refusal to provide scheduling information so workers can better plan both their work and home life. A Kennedy Center spokesperson has disputed the characterization of the talks.